There is an attempt at the state level to open the Astoria power plant and have it fueled by fracking gas. We're not going to let that happen. We can't let that happen. I'm worried about the health of our district and the health of Astoria when it comes to building these power plants. So NRG is proposing to build a new Peaker plant to replace their existing one. And this is a proposal that they've had for many years now. But in the last year, what's happened is that there's been a groundswell of grassroots opposition to this plan. Because what this plan would do is spend more than a billion dollars to create a new fossil fuel piece of infrastructure right here in our neighborhood. NRG, the company that's trying to build this plant, says that we need it for reliability. But other neighborhoods, other communities get renewables, they get battery storage. So I just want to know why Astoria has to be a sacrifice zone. All of the different reasons that they're telling us that we need these plants, they're not true. It's just the greed of the fossil fuel industry um, trying to maintain its foothold in New York. The thing about this power plant is that it's bringing toxic gas into our air, and which is really bad for our health and other no! plants and animals' as health. Astoria and Long Island City generate over half of the energy that's generated in New York City. Our children also make up over half of the city's hospitalization rates for asthma. That area in Astoria, Queens, is often referred to as Asthma Alley because the asthma rates in that neighborhood, in that general area, are much higher than the national average. The methane leaks from fracking are up to 68 times more concentrated than CO2 emissions. It's polluting our environment, and if it pollutes our environment, it causes us to have a space where we, where we can't live. And we don't want that. We want to have a nice, normal life. We're fighting for more than just a rejection of NRG's plant. We're fighting for a fossil fuel-free future, one that is powered by renewable energy. And that future cannot be manifested without the critical work of labor. We as a community demand the Green New Deal because one, it will give us a jobs guarantee that will help us face this economic crisis that we're gonna face post-COVID. And at the same time, it's going to build the really important climate infrastructure that we need in this country to fight the climate disaster. We don't have a planet B. Let's go to here in Queens. We don't want these fossil people polluting everything. And they think that we're just kids and we don't really know what we're talking about. We know what we're talking about. We know what's happening around us and this is very important. For almost 15, 16 weeks, every Saturday we were out with like a group of people sending out flyers, getting people informed on this power plant. And this kind of grassroots activism really can make a difference. True revolution and organizing work isn't just electoral. It is non-electoral too. It requires outside community organizing. That is what our, our path forward is. That's what we're gonna do with advocacy, with community activists, with parents, with kids. That's what this future is all about.